men, your children are also a gift from God. Therefore, you are to cherish them. Husbands, cherish your wife. She is special. She is a gift from God to you. Then you shift gears in Ephesians 6 and verse 4. And it says, fathers, you need to understand that your children, you are to cherish your children because they are also special and they are a gift from God to you. You are to view your children as valuable possessions that are very, very special to you. That's why we as men and we as fathers should want to protect our children and we should want to provide for our children. Now, that's the first word that I wanted you to see, that word bring. Now, notice the word up. Because chapter 6 verse 4 says, but bring them, that is bring the children up. That word up carries with it the idea of maturity, maturity. The goal of providing discipline in the home is that a child will grow up to become a mature adult. Now, I know some of you might think that is never going to (laughs) happen. You're at a stage in life right now where you're saying, I don't know if they're ever going to grow up. I don't know if they're ever going to mature. Well, the need for discipline in the home, the purpose of that discipline is for future maturity. You see, discipline helps our children to one day become men and women of character. An undisciplined child will grow up to become an immature adult, right? You ever seen those? Undisciplined child growing up to become an immature adult. If you allow a child to be disrespectful to your parental authority in the home, that child will grow up and have no respect for any authority in any facet of life. An out-of-control child will grow up to become an out-of-control adult. Every time you come in contact with a mature young man or woman, and we've got a lot of them right here at our church. I'm proud of our young people here. And uh, when you come across a a young person, a young man, you know, they're going from that teenage uh, phase of life into a young adulthood, and you sense uh, maturity there, and you sense a healthy dose of respect for authority, you ought to say to yourself, thank God there's still parents that believe in the value of disciplining their children. Because that is not by accident. Maturity in adults doesn't just happen. It starts in the home and it starts at a very young age and it always involves discipline. Now I want you to also notice something else in this verse and it's this. Fathers are specifically held responsible for discipline in the home. This doesn't mean that mothers are not supposed to be involved in the discipline of their children, but it means in the eyes of God, the buck stops with dad. That's what it means. The verse specifically says, and ye, what? Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up. Fathers, bring up your children into maturity in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. I've seen it way too many times where the dad will work 40 to 60 hours a week, and when he gets home, he wants to be Mr. Nice Guy. He wants to be Mr. Good Guy and leave all the discipline to be done by his wife. God is saying here in this verse that every father needs to understand that they may not choose to be involved in the discipline of their child, but one day they will be held accountable for that lack of discipline in the life of their children. I call your attention to those two words, nurture and admonition. The word nurture carries with it the idea of training and disciplining a child. By the, by the way, it is the same identical Greek word that you find in Hebrews chapter 12 that is translated chastening. We're going to look at that in just a moment. But the word nurture carries with it that idea of training. 
We're training our children at a very young age to become mature adults one day. And that involves discipline. And then notice that word admonition because it carries with it the idea of instruction with the view of correcting a problem. Do you realize that every child arrives in the world with a problem? <laughs> you say, what are you talking about? Well, when we see weaknesses and when we see character flaws in the lives of our children, we as parents have the responsibility to admonish them in the way of the Lord. Why does God say that parents need to discipline their children? Well, the reason is because when our children are born, they come into the world with a fallen, depraved nature. Again, modern humanistic psychology teaches us that children are inherently good. They tell us that what they need is not correction, but rather a good and proper environment. We need to understand that a better environment has never, ever fixed a heart problem. It's never fixed a heart problem. The Bible teaches us that children are born with a bent not to do that which is right, but a bent to do that which is wrong. In other words, we are all born sinners, and because we are born sinners, we choose to sin. We choose to do that which is wrong. The psalmist says in Psalm 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Arthur C. Clarke comments on this verse, and he writes, Modern theologians hate verse 5. They like to talk about the God in man instead of the sin in man. The source of sin is in our souls, not in our surroundings, end of quote. As parents, it's our responsibility to help our children understand at a very early age that they are sinners in need of God's provision of salvation through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. First and foremost, the gospel ought to be shared within the context of the family. It's also our responsibility to help them understand the truth of God's word and how it applies to their lives. Again, way too many parents say, well, that's the church's responsibility. And yes, to a certain degree it is, but we only have them for an hour or two every week, right? I don't have them all week long. You bring them on Sunday morning and, and then we see them usually, uh, maybe some of them back on Wednesday night and then some of them we don't see till next Sunday again. And so it's important for you to share the truth of God's word with your son or your daughter on a daily basis and help them to understand how the truth of God's word applies to their lives. It's our responsibility to help them to understand that if they, they refuse to live their lives according to the truth of God's word, there will be devastating consequences. 